Welcome Zodiac. It's a collective read. Pet lovers, the pet lovers read. I'm using the Gilded Tarot Classic here, my oldest deck. The one I do love the most, I'll be honest. So, the heart spread is an eight card spread I designed to uh, really for romantic love. I began to see could use it for other things earlier today. Um, sorry about the audio on the one earlier, but I didn't realize the rain was so bad because of sinus infection. I can't really hear. Uh, it's probably good because I, I, it's hard for me to talk loud, but when I can't hear, then I talk loud. So, and now I'm trying to, I always try to find the bright side. <laughs> uh, but usually, you know, it's for that. But this is now going to be the same read, but we're going to read in the second position. That's uh, the one you're thinking of is the pet you're thinking of. So the pet that's in your heart, the pet that's on your mind is like I normally do with the heart spread. And, you know, as I say with the heart spread, you know, it doesn't matter if this pet is with you or not with you. It's what's in your heart. That's what that's what this will pick up on. And we uh, will look at it kind of like sinistry. I've never, never done it before, but I'd let the spirit guide me and the cards, you know, guide me in intention in the name of love and light. So as serves the highest good only, we ask spirit to guide us with a reading that's helpful. Maybe a hollow bone. We find something through spirit that's helpful in some way uh, in terms of whatever pet this is on your mind. It's meaningful. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So, let's see what we get. First card is you. Second card represents your pet. Well, they might be passed on, this pet you're thinking of. If not, uh, it's hard to say it other than say it as if they are like a soulmate pet. This wasn't like... Oh, you got them because someone else left them, or you had to, or this was like somehow when you got them, I mean, if they're not passed on, and they're in, in great fond memory, and they feel like a soulmate energy, um, then when you got them, you, you had this strong feeling to get this pet, like it was a soulmate connection. You know, if, uh, if this were uh, a love reading, you know, I would say this is you entering a relationship that you feel is a soulmate relationship and so honestly this is like a feeling with the pet so if this is your reading i like to do this because you might say well jesus dave i know where i'm at i'm here I'm right here but you know it helps me get an idea especially in relationship to the other here which is your pet um kind of where you're at and then you can see if it resonates right out of the bat if you're like nope pet's alive really not into the soulmate then goodbye but all in good fun <laughs> check out the soul family read we have the love reads up too. If you're into love, if you're single or coupled, page of cups, very sweet. <laughs> you know, it'd be like a cancer dog or, or a water dog or a Pisces dog. Uh, there are such things that get, you can get really into it. You know, he knows your, your dog's birth. It's, it's amazing. I've had a lot of dogs um, and I don't really know their signs. Uh, you know, very last week, the last dog that was alive lived forever. With my ex-wife, we've been divorced since uh, 11 years. And this dog was not a young dog when I left, and she kept the dogs. And it just passed this week, you know, buddy. Um, maybe I'm picking up on that. And, you know, the fact that this uh, cup is looking away from the reading, I just got to tell you, it just feels like this is a passed over uh, loved one, you know, that's a, a pet. People say, oh, can dogs be something? Of course. I mean... You just got to go by your feel. You know you love a dog. You know how they love you. How's that not a soulmate? How do they not have a soul? I don't need rhetoric. I know you like, you know, tell by the feels of it. And look, this dog, uh, six of cups now, guys, is you coming in. Now, this is you reacting to the dog. Think about this would almost kind of go back like uh, that would tell a story. Uh, by the way, you can do a, I, I digress, but... Uh, you can do an event chart. If you remember when you got your dog, you first got your dog or your cat or whatever your animal pet is, uh, and it can tell you a lot. But this is kind of going back to the event chart because this is kind of showing how you kind of were when you first, uh, you know, got to see your uh, animal here, your pet. And it brought you like a lot of joy. You know, three is like, uh, and look, I mean, look how happy they are, you know. 
Um, this is like maybe a puppy, maybe brought up a puppy and you, you know. Um, I don't really consider the bottom of the deck too much in here. But it's just showing balance, six pinnacles, energy, even good pet owner. That's what I get, you know, which I wouldn't expect otherwise. So there's real good vibrations here, but there's a lot of emotions here, a lot of emotions. And even your dog, I mean, you're, I keep saying your dog, an animal, pet. I'm, I'm a dog lover mostly, you know, uh, but I'm wide open, allergic to cats, so, but page of cups. Um, yeah, let me see what we get. Wow, look at this, the strength card now. Maybe it was a cat, because, you know, How's that not Leo? And the cat. I mean, how's that? How's that not a cat? It was a really good one. Of coon. Was it one of a coon? I ain't the lab. This is passed on. But look, you know, it's it's like that. What's that psychic lady with the big hair from Jersey? I love her. Every time I watch her cry, I cry. I love it. <laughs> you know, uh, she's always. But you know, I think the pets would be around us. You know, it's the love that binds us. Now, what I want to point out, too, now, um, it's like this animal went from, in life, being this a sweet kind of thing, you know, kind of, I would say it was a sweet pet, um, uh, a lot of cuddles, um, that kind of energy. But as it's passed on, and as a spirit animal, and I'm getting chills, I'm not even kidding, the, this animal is very powerful and protective around you. Uh, I've been through some shit recently. These things count. Every little bit counts. And I think that spirit animal it went, it's got the heart of a lion now. You know? So love doesn't die. I always share that link with other souls and animals got souls. Um, advice from spirit regarding your animal. Wow. Uh, this is speaking to the, your animal. This may sound crazy, but I completely get this. Uh, it, one thing it's well known, I think, that if you really want help from your guides and angels, um, you need to say it out loud, you know, and exactly what you want as much as you can and ask for help because they can only do, you know, what you have to ask, you know. And it's sort of like that. Uh, I think this may sound silly to some people, but what I get with this Ace of Swords is to, uh, sit really, uh, make a thing of it, and, and just speak to them. Speak to them, like whatever it is you want to speak to them. This is reading who's on your mind. It's not exactly trying to answer a question. We do that personal reading, but you can ask to anything you want. Uh, but I think like you would get the answer anyway. You have this soul connection with the Six of Cups here, guys. Um... Uh, it gave you so much joy. They're with you. Dude, they got you. Mm hmm. And look at the power with your animal. I didn't realize animals could be so powerful. Why the hell not, man? You know what? It's about love. And don't they love? Just like they would sit after you die by your door and wait for you for the rest of their lives. Well, what are they going to do when they die? They're going to sit and wait for you until you die. So if that's a question, yeah, they'll be with you. They're eternal now. They're not going to. You know, not going to die this time. So they'll be there with you when you pass, you know, and you can talk to them. This is about, you can talk to them. Wow. And this is beautiful judgment here. I I got feels about this. And I don't really know that much, but there applies to me with judgment that there was some kind of like karmic connection actually with you and, and the animal soul. And it really does. And maybe that's why they're so bound to you. When you know judgment comes before the world, I'll point out. Judgment under strength. I mean, how powerful was that? For It was such a little thing, you know. But love is beyond measure of a cup. And this kind of strength is something you wouldn't even maybe see it with your eyes, no? I'm kind of uh, a little odd, honestly. Now what I do is get advice here, the number seven position and then the outcome number eight. And I think of this as sinistry. 
it would be interesting, you know, just look at the basic synastry with it with an animal. I haven't really done that. No one's ever asked, but it'd definitely be done. And I'm sure you would see things playing out, but you can do it. Uh, you can put anything you want on uh, AstroSeeks, like super easy, I noticed. So now I'm asking, you know, what can spirit tell, tell us that's uh, uh, for the good of this relationship for both of you? Because, you know, even if they are passed on, you're in a relationship with them. You know, we're with you. We'd establish that with this straight card. They're with you. Ain't nothing gonna bother you. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. I think you guys, this sounds crazy. You can work with this. You can speak to your animal. Of course you can. But I'm saying this is advice from spirit for you towards your animal, person usually. That's to talk to them really talk to them but it's like the truth if it was a human here it's more like you know let go of just thinking this is weird i'm talking to my animal let's just really do it from the heart you don't have nobody have to be around and and open up and have this communication and it's going to establish a powerful link this is real something that will feel real uh because you're actually doing something you know speaking and uh, I think this is going to make you feel a lot more grounded. Yeah, a lot more grounded, a lot safer. Uh, this, this could, you know, you've got six of pentacles coming in here, guys. So there's a desire, you know, if you have the six of pentacles overall, you know, you don't get that without some kind of effort, you know, working hard, saving money, uh, being cautious, being prudent and all of that, obeying the Saturn things. And, and now it's sort of like taking that energy um, into this relationship with your animal, you know. So, by that I mean uh, something that this would just be a kind of a way of life now. Um, six Pentacles, work. This is a good worker card. It's never bad anyway. And here this isn't good or bad. It's just advice from spirit, just to do the work. And uh, you know, uh, it's another way to read this. It's coming in strong. Maybe whoever's listening to this, this resonates. You do some work here with your animal on the other side. Uh, write a book. Uh, I don't know something creative. Um, and I, this is really standing out for me. Like there's some kind of portal or some kind of open door, and that you can trust. You've got judgment under strength here. This animal is devoted to you absolutely devoted to you holy moly a hair upon tell you what guys uh to, <laughs> exactly like that the judgment here the hair font this is the outcome of the heart spread this is the outcome of the relationship you know what i hope this reunited you i just hit me what that is yeah, and it's like really being solid together, almost like feeling married again. It's like maybe having them back with you. Because I said at the beginning, it's reads who's in your heart. You don't have to be with them, whether it's a person or your beloved animal. But that's an amazing outcome, you know. Yeah, the most powerful spiritual card in the deck and very solid, especially, you know, coming with the uh, eight of pentacles as a advice from spirit for this relationship as a whole and here you see it now takes the shape of a heart and with the hair font there it's something very solid it's as if this interaction that you're doing i hope you're doing it to comment leave a comment like subscribe please it helps me yes uh and comments help a lot so feel free um uh, just if this resonates and um it's like dude, a lot will come uh, from you uh, making this relationship kind of real uh, and screw what anybody else thinks about it. You know, I was listening to that song yesterday, uh, Buck the World, <laughs> like a horse bucking. <laughs> yeah, because um, this is beautiful and it leads to just every to the hierophant. Fantastic, guys. Thank you.